Hello, beautiful soul. Welcome back to another video. Today's topic is take aligned action, process and overcome the blocks. So we'll start from the top and talk about what aligned action is. Aligned action is dependent on your state of being. So what is your state of being? Your state of being is your current energy level, your current level of awareness, of consciousness, of confidence. So in other words, if you are really triggered, something unfortunate, an external circumstance happened in your life, you got triggered, your state of being may be angry or depressed or you know, in a state of grief, whatever it is. So in that state of being, it's not impossible, it's more, but it's more difficult to identify what direction you're supposed to go in, what you're supposed to do in your life, what you're supposed to uh, make happen, or whatever the case may be. So in order to take a line of action, we have to first focus on our state of being. Ideally, you wanna be in a state of peace, of confidence, of inspiration, of vision, a state of relaxation. In that state, in other words, if you imagine the best version of yourself, and I use this often, when you are the best version of yourself, what is that state? You're in a state of confidence. You're in a state of peace, of relaxation. You're in a state of clarity where you are grounded. And in that state, those are the actions that you're supposed to take. You will know, your intuition will come through because again, in your highest state, your best self, you're in a, in a state of being that's clear, of clarity, of focus. You know what you're supposed to be doing, you know what it's going to lead to, you know where you're going. So in order to take aligned action, I would first say, focus on your state of being. Now, there is to say that there are times when you are gonna be in a less than desirable state. After all, you're human. Well, you're in a human form. You're an infinite soul in a human form in a temporary human experience, as you know. But there are gonna be times when you're in a lower state, but you're still required to take action. In that case, absolutely. You've got to forge ahead and compartmentalize for the time being and take the aligned action or whatever you know you're supposed to do and then hopefully give yourself time to process whatever has been triggering you. And that's what today's video is about. So you want to be in a heightened, aligned state of being in which you're peaceful, you're confident, you're focused, you're relaxed, you're clear, crystal clear. And in that state of being, you will know the action you're supposed to do in order to move your goals forward, your vision forward, your life forward to ascend, to be a greater version of yourself, to expand your consciousness, to improve the external circumstances in your life. So you focus on your state of being and in that state of being, the aligned action will become clear. And in that state of being, as you take the aligned action, you'll begin to move forward. That being said, as you move forward, and you're, what is this all for anyways? What, what's the point of this video? The point of this video, of all my videos, is to help you improve your life. To help you improve your external circumstances. Whether that is improve your health and overcome health issues, get in better shape, whether it's aesthetically or internally, mentally, emotionally, but especially physically, to improve your health. It's to improve your relationships, invite new love into your life, or with the partner that you are with, to expand and bring in more passion, more love, more of a supporting, healing, progressive environment, a safe place for you to be. Not just romantic, but friends, of course, family, business partnerships. It's to help you improve your external circumstances like your financial situation. With more money comes more freedom, so you can be more free. You have more autonomy over your life and your schedule not living a life of stress. You're able to have more than enough money in your life to do what you wanna do with who you wanna do it when you wanna do it. So that's the ultimate goal, freedom. Because as a healer, as a light worker, more than anything, we value freedom. Your freedom in your time, your freedom in your money. So that's what all this is for. 
So we focus on our vision first and we take the aligned action by being in a heightened state of being, our best selves, doing the best and we can do meditation, anything that you need to do, process the emotions to get into that heightened state. Then we take the aligned action. After we're taking the aligned action, it's inevitable that you are gonna face blocks, you are gonna face triggers. These are coming up for a reason because as you ascend and improve yourself internally, and you're taking the aligned actions, it's inevitable that you're going to face blocks. These are blocks, these are meant to be there, they will always be there no matter how high you get, there's always gonna be something to overcome. This is a process to help you improve the external circumstances in your life by transforming on a very deep level internally, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. As you ascend internally, you'll have these blocks come up, but as you overcome these blocks, you will notice your external circumstances, your life, again, your money, your relationships, health, etc. improve. That's what all this is for. So get into the heightened state of being and take the aligned action. As you take the aligned action, understand that it's inevitable that you are going to have blocks come up. You're gonna have triggers that come up. Now, why do these come up? They come up because each improved and heightened level of your life is going to require a better version of you. In order to embody this better version of you consistently to become, to transform into this better version of you, you've got to heal and continue to heal and overcome these blocks. Whether it's old issues that resurface again, you feel more deeply and more intensely, or entirely new issues that maybe you didn't anticipate. These are for a reason. They're coming up to reveal to you what needs to be healed and overcome in order for you, again, to improve your external circumstances, to upgrade, to level up. That's what we're here to do. So take the aligned action. It's about your state of being. You focus on your vision. What is it you want your life to be like? What is it you want your ideal lifestyle to be like? As you envision that, what is that version of you that you need to become? Now, as you look at that vision, of your life ideally when it's all said and done or at least for now i want to be here and you get into that good energetic stake and you take the aligned action you process and overcome the triggers as you process and overcome the triggers you begin to ascend and all of a sudden you're making more money you're attracting better friendships better relationships or improved romantic relationships with your partner better opportunities better health more money I think I said that already, but you understand what I'm saying. This is about ascending. So move forward with the action in your highest state of being. Process the issues that come up. Each new level of progression in your life will require greater healing and will trigger deeper issues or the same issues from the past that you'll feel in a more intense way. This is upgrading. As you overcome these issues, as you elevate your circumstances, your external world, money, relationships, health, will improve as a result of you transforming on an inner level. Because your outer world is simply a reflection of your inner environment. So as you work on your inner environment and overcome these blocks, your external world improves. So what are some tangible steps? Some tangible steps in order to do this, a step-by-step -step process. Step one, you clarify your vision. What, all, what is this all for? What are you doing this for? What is the lifestyle that you want to live? That's where you start. Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. You start with the end in mind. So start with the end in mind. If you don't know where to go or what you're supposed to do at the moment, well, what is it you want your lifestyle to be like? Don't focus on what you're doing and how it looks. You don't know that yet. Just focus on what you like, want your lifestyle to be like. Do you want to have structure? Are you someone that thrives in structure? What does that structure look like? I get up and I have a rented office of my own by the beach and I'm working with a small team and I'm doing work that's uh, fulfilling and freeing and I love it. Okay, great. Or are you someone, no, something completely different. I want my lifestyle to be completely free. I wanna travel the world and be able to work remotely. I want it, I want to, you know, or I, I want my um, I want to work from home so I can spend more time with my kids. What is the end vision? You start with the end in mind. As you start with the end in mind, you clarify your vision based on your lifestyle, 
What do you want your lifestyle to be like in detail? Not what are you doing specifically or maybe, but most likely not because this is something new. You're not necessarily sure how it's going to look because you've never been there. So start with the end in mind, focusing on your lifestyle. Then what is the first step? This is step two. What is the first step? Identify the first step. What is, what is my heart telling me? When I think of that lifestyle that I want, what is the first thing I need to do? Don't worry about everything else. Just do the first step. As you take that first step, what you'll notice is two things. Well, one of two things will happen or both. The next step will be illuminated. You'll know the next action you're supposed to take. In other words, that second step after you take the second step. Or when you take that first step, you're gonna notice blocks coming up. You're gonna get triggered. You're gonna notice beliefs. All of a sudden, you're not, you can't do anything. You don't, you, you don't know, you're stuck, you feel stuck. Well, that's the block. So you either will have completed the first step, the second step is illuminated. But eventually, along these steps, whatever it is, or many or all of the steps, you're gonna face blocks. Maybe it's procrastination. Maybe it's just getting off the ground, you have trouble. Maybe you wanna make content in YouTube and you have such a fear about being judged and whatnot that you can't even get on camera and make content in the video. So great, that's fantastic, celebrate that. You've already identified the first block. So now, as the title suggests, you take the aligned action of getting in front of the camera. If you have even trouble doing that, you're procrastinating, say I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week, I'll do it when the time is right and there is no right time. That's your first block. Then you heal that block. That's what this video is about. Identify your vision, take the aligned action, overcome the block. As you overcome the block, you begin to elevate. As you begin to elevate the external circumstances in your life, your health, your relationships, uh, your work, whatever it is, they begin to improve as a result of the inner transformation. What is, when you notice a block, the procrastination, the trauma, the issue, learn the lesson, overcome that, heal that, and then move forward onto the next step that illuminates itself. And it's not gonna be comfortable, you're never gonna feel ready, you're only gonna know once you do the action. Once you do the action, then you will know. But you have to go forward, take that first step. When the block arises, you spend time processing it, understanding it, accepting it, and forgiving. There's a million ways to do this. You reflect, you journal, you meditate, talk to a professional, talk to a therapist, overcome that block, identify it, accept it, forgive, love, and then move again towards your vision by taking the next aligned action that has illuminated itself. As you do that, more will reveal itself to you and you will know. Now, how do you know that you're upgrading? How do you know that you're on the right track or that any of this is working? Well, there's a few things. You're on the right track and you've upgraded if, one, the issue or the trigger that was blocking you, we'll use the YouTube making content example, no longer blocks you. All of a sudden you're making videos regularly, you don't really have any qualms or reservations or fears about getting in front of the camera, posting content online. So you've upgraded, you've healed and overcome that block because now you don't have a problem getting on camera. That's one way you've known. You'll feel different. Your energy has changed because you've healed something within you that was holding you back. So you literally feel more relaxed in your body. Your breathing is calm. It's deep. It's not... <laughs> it's... It's chill. It's peaceful. It's relaxed. It's centered. It's calm. It's confident. You will notice your energy, your being change. So the trigger doesn't affect you. You feel different. You feel lighter, relaxed, more clear. You're seeing physical progress. Your external circumstances are changing. You're garnering more subscriptions and followers on your YouTube channel, more engagement from your community. If it's a job, maybe all of a sudden you got that promotion you've been wanting. All of a sudden, you're, you've been trying to date and once you started to work on yourself, you were attracting a partner in your life or whatever, now all of a sudden, you're having men or women, whatever, lined up and you're noticing more opportunities with different qualities of people. Your external world is changing. That's how you'll know you're upgrading. Your external circumstances are improving. You cannot be the same person at the end of your vision as you are now. Because if you were that same person, you're gonna be 
living the same life. It's that simple. So this is about transformation. This is about change. And it's not easy and it's not for the faint of heart. It's not for everybody, but you're not everybody. That's why you're watching this video because you know you're on a different path. You know you're on your highest path. That's why you're watching this video. You cannot be the same person that is abundant with the loving family and the most incredible romantic relationship with your partner who lives a life of adventure, health, and abundance as you are now. You're upgrading. So you've got to transform. This is how we transform. We identify the vision, we take the aligned action, and we overcome the blocks that present themselves. That's what this is about. The quote I'll leave you with today, out of difficulties grow miracles. Jean de la Bruyere. I don't know who that is, but I like like their quote. So, out of difficulties grow miracles. The second quote, if the road is easy, you're likely going the wrong way. If it were easy, everyone were doing it. If it were easy, everybody were do would be doing it. I thought uh, this uh, video game streamer I like, and he was talking about it. Somebody had like left him a super chat, and they're like, Hey man, you know, I'm, I'm having trouble growing my YouTube channel. What should I do? And he's like, dude, I wish it were as simple as like, do this, do this, one, two, three, and you got it. He's like, it is what I've noticed from friends that have successful YouTube channels. I have a couple that are like a couple hundred thousand, you know, half a million, they're up there. And um, I, I know that their process, they've all said the same thing, or even content creators out there, you hear them say, you, this is your own path. There's no like, formula you this is what it's about you're forging your own path you're figuring out as you go this is the journey this is what you're on this is what you're you're up for you signed up for and you want it but the last thing i'll say is if it's difficult it's because you haven't had much success but as you ascend and you see the process of your you get the validation and your external environment or even if you don't, you're operating on faith and trust, you know that this is working. But it's very nice when you can see the external world, get that external feedback, your environment, your relationships, et cetera, opportunities change as a result of you doing the work and your transformation. It does work. You've got to keep going. This is what you want. And the juice is totally worth the squeeze. I'm not quite there yet. I never will be, but neither will you because we never get it done. It, you can never get it wrong. But you will ascend and again, you'll reach these thresholds and these benchmarks and go, oh my God, this is working because now I had the best year in my career. I just got the biggest raise in my life. I just met the love of my life. I just met X, Y, Z. Or I'm noticing things around me change because I can feel how different I am. When I go into the same environments, those same environments don't feel the same. The environment hasn't changed, you've changed. You're changing. So keep going. We're all in this together. Love you so much. That's what I got for you today. I'll see you in another video soon. Peace.